thousand degrees right now and I'm not turning it down because it is hot. <laughs> um, but anyways, I want to thank everybody so much for like all of the just cool stories and input and tips and everything that has come out along the way about you know what you do for Christmas and planning and it's just been really really fun you know talking Christmas with other people who are you know as Christmas loving as I am I guess so today I wanted to talk about stocking stuffers because one of or a few of you actually mentioned it in the comments and I think that stocking stuffers can be some of the most expensive things and the things that add up especially at the end and those are the things that people are most likely just going to throw on a credit card or whatever and then end up paying even more for them down the road which is just crazy to me. So um, for stocking stuffers we try like year round to really just look for little things you know when you look at seasonal clearance don't look at it as okay this is for Valentine's Day or this is for 4th of July. Look at it as okay this is um, you, you know this is for whatever um, or this can be for Christmas. So, uh, and, and like, you know, kind of look at the item in the package because sometimes, yeah, the package may have hearts and, you know, kisses and all that over it. But if you look at the item themselves or itself, it is the same item that's like on the stores right now. So you could just take it out of the package and, you know, put it in some tissue paper and throw it in a stocking or you can put it in those like little, like, treat bags or whatever um with the little paper craft bags and target often has them in their dollar spot uh, but you know little things like that and you know when bath and body works offers you their freebies uh you know free travel item of purchase grab it any and every little thing that you can think of just keep watching the clearance grab stuff at the dollar spot especially when the dollar spot goes on clearance it's like 30 60 90 cents who, you know who can beat that I think that stocking stuffers, for us at least, are just kind of like junk. Um, you know, I, I do throw some gift cards in there and I do throw a few nice things, but for the rest it's mainly fillers and candy and stuff like that. So I think that, so I think that, you know, that's a way for you to save a lot of money. Because if you go to Target around Christmas time, you're going to be paying like three, four, five, six dollars for little tiny junky things that you know you don't really want to be spending that kind of money on and in all honesty a lot of times the stocking stuffer stuff we get doesn't last long we end up you know throwing it out and it's just not worth it in the end so I wanted to mention that to you guys you know just always keep your eye out and always be looking around and I wonder if that messed me up I had a reminder on my phone um, but yeah, just, you know, always kind of keep your eye out and always be looking for things because it really does help keep that cost down. And then also print out the stocking stuffer, stocking stuffer list or something like that. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but it's in the organizedchristmas.com website and it's just a printable and you put their name and then you put all the things that you've got in them. And heck, I even think that if you're going to do it it might be worth it to like keep a cheap stocking out like kind of where you have your stocking stuffers so that you can kind of temporarily you know throw in all your stocking stuffers and see if you have too much or too many because every year it seems I walk away with a bag of stuff that I end up putting back in my gift closet for the following year or for Easter or for whatever and you know that's another tip too if you do buy too much you can throw it in their Easter basket so it's like win-win for everybody so that is my Christmas car chat for this week. Um, thanks for all of the comments again, and I will see you guys in my next video. And you guys should get two videos today, or maybe you know two videos this weekend, because I'm also gonna upload the um, Hallmark ornament haul for you guys as well. So hope you're enjoying all these Christmas videos. I also wanted to mention that Maureen from Glitter and Groceries, I'm sure if you watch my channel, you probably probably watch her channel is doing a Christmas in July starting tomorrow so you probably want to check that out because I think that she's just as Christmas crazy as I am and I'm willing to bet that she has some really cool things up her sleeve because I know that she's been working hard on that this week so um yeah Merry Christmas in July guys